Hi, hello, and welcome, and now it's time for another tour of an area at Kings Island. This time we are going through what's probably my favorite area of the whole park, which is River... I almost said River Fest, but that's a festival in downtown Cincinnati, which is I happen to describe River Town, which is a western-themed area of the park, which has a couple of really good rides, or actually three really good rides here. We also have a Paradise Island store. Now, of course, they have some iconic giant footprints here, which is, for those of you who don't know, it's for the beast, but also it makes you think of, you know, they said about guys with big feet, they got really bad feet smell for big feet. Yes, that's a god awful joke. And over here is a path to nowhere, which used to be the exit path of the antique cars, the original antique cars they had here that they replaced them with. Uh, back lot stunt poster before they added them again last year over in Coney Mall. So on the tour of Coney Mall. And again this is uh, the I've already done tours of Coney Mall and Oktoberfest and it's Action Zone and International Street and uh, good links to all these in here. And Coney Mall is off this way. Yeah, that entrance or that path of the vortex used to be right over here. There's a little Rose's Pizzeria here, which is that first at Cincinnati tradition. They also have that same here. There's one in on the Fest House as well. We're going to make more for the 19 announcements right now. They have a Coca Cola Refresh Station, which is a busy day. They have an employee working there, but it's not all that busy today because they're calling for rain. Uh, right now, it's you probably have had some showers already. Diamondback is down there. Nice vlog. Thank you. Yeah, someone just said something, but uh, the pop punks are off this way to take you to the seas. This is of course back in the corner of the park and largely hidden from everyone else in the whole park. And you can stand right up here and all you'll be able to see of the beast is the lift hill, which is off up here in the station. You think. Little do you know, just from looking at that, it's actually the longest wooden church in the world and one of two wooden churches they have in this section of the park. This and the Timbers and there's a sign for the beast. And let me know what your favorite uh, wooden toaster is here at King's Island. Is that the or Mr. Timbers? So let us know in the comments. Yeah. In my opinion, that's the best ride in this section of the park that just went by. First time of that. Still have plenty of signs advertising for Orion. Up this year. Soccer tape, they have a soccer challenge game, and I'm not much of a soccer guy, but I don't think that's the best pose to play a half or any soccer game. They have an Antien's uh, pretzel place, they have antique photos you can take. This over here is the old entrance of Tomb Raider the Ride, which was a pretty much a highly themed immersive giant top spin they had that opened it back around the turn of the century. But it did not last long. It was only open for like two or three years before Cedar Fair bought the park and didn't want to put the money into keeping up with the theme. Then. And now it's just a giant, the entrance looks neat, but the building behind it's just a giant eyesore. <coughs> but that's life sometimes. And they have, like I said, have antique photos that's currently closed with the October 19. Here's the entrance and exit to Whitewater Canyon, which is a river rapids ride which gets you drenched on. That's probably why those people there have ponches on so they can ride it. And then they have a funnel cakes and snacks and desserts uh, building here. So they have fresh baked cookies, slide and fresh donuts, old fashioned root beer floats, and soft serve ice and some other words. They scared to have a heart attack here. 
River Town is also where they have their train station at, or one of the two train stations, the other one being at uh, River Town, or not River Town, at the water park. I had made previously a video of the, of the route the train goes on right now, so if you looked at our channel, you can search for that video and watch that as well, or you can just come to King's Island and ride the train. We have a dry creek bed over here. I guess that used to be the river. the river. Repeat, do not enter. And I'm, I'm not done enter since I read this earlier, but this is Miss Timber, which is our wooden toaster over here, or the second wooden toaster in Rivertown, which is a really fun ride. Again, a lot of it's hidden, but it's also for King's Island, right? It's like decent theming. There's also the Miami River Brew House, which has breeze, food, still some fun. It's a, basically a sort of a sports car. And then for the Little Miami River, King's Island has property back at the Little Miami River, which is I mean, where I tell you I live at. Here. Five minute, five minute walk from Little Miami River, just not a five minute walk from King's Island. The log from over here used to be part of Rivertown, but that's now I think technically part of Camp Snoopy. And then the other main attraction in River County is right up here, which is Diamondback, which is their BM Hyper Coaster. It doesn't really fit with a Western thing to have a giant steel coaster, but it does have a, uh, it's a very fun ride. Up until this year in Orion, which you can see way off the distance there, opened up, it was the best steel coaster here. Now it's only just such a good steel coaster here. At least until whenever they replace the Vortex or something. I guess the only bit of actual western-ish theming on Diamondback is the exit as he passed through a gift shop that's themed to the uh, Old West uh, Trading Post. That's it for uh, Rivertown, so as always, we'll let this video leave us a uh, good thumbs up. It lets us know that you actually liked it and it helps us out more than you might know, as well as feel free to hit the subscribe button.